Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where Aloy is freezing. It's because all these clothes are midriff showing clothes. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. Ooh, this is not glide nearly... Oh, is it not? Dude, thank you. This is He's actually quite help. He's the most helpful companion I've had so far. <laughs> I mean, I think it was. I just, I didn't take, I wasn't taking the road, which his pathing didn't like. But I can follow the rules. I'll follow the rules. I'll follow the road. <laughs> if it makes your pathing happy. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Game, thank you. Yeah, buddy. Trying to get at least ten episodes recorded. We'll see how well that goes. Any animals around I can... I almost said munch on, like a creep. You're a salmon. I don't need a salmon. I think I do need a rat, though. Whoa, who's right there? <laughs> the death perception is, is weird with that. With that focus vision. Take this to a dyer later. Yes, I think I do like these colors best. I like the desert best, but I like these colors the best. We're just gonna... I feel like also, like, the political implications of attacking this place is just... Oh... Not great. It's not great. Come on, buddy. I think you need to get over here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, perfect! How perfect! <laughs> Thank you! Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up? Well, go on. I really think this is a really terrible idea, but... Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks. So I can expose the power cell. Uh, people are gonna come out! They're gonna fire arrows at me! It's working! I don't know what else to do. This is all I know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Exposed it. Exposed it. This isn't gonna work. Well, isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the bulwark's feelings. You might come now. Stop embarrassing yourselves and leave this poor mountain you alone. You might want to move. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. Oh. And take this cripple. It's been a while you. since I've been called that. Oh, so we are standing in the worst spot for that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, he's like, ha 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 ha. behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena.
I don't know how he hasn't been taken out if he's a coward. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns into Cote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. Bye, I love you. <laughs> we may need another miracle there as well. I'm good at those. I just pulled them out of thin air. Now it's time to gather my equipment. I want to go and see him right away. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Garaz. Good boy. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. <gasps> to not conquer. Ooh, I get some sky people paint, I think. Oh, hey, next time I'll do that. I don't know why these people would let me in their house. Like, I literally just pulled down the protective wall. I think they would just refuse to let me in. You make quite an impression for Can an outlander. Regala as easily as the bulwark outlander. Uh, uh, hopefully, doubtful. Oops. Tecote, humbled by a single outlander and a one-armed marshal. <laughs> Somebody should challenge him. I'm trying to. Oh my gosh. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you, to see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Catalo showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower. One we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them. Especially when their chaplain supports their return. Wow. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Dakota another black hour? Yeah. Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. So, more martial material. Perfect, perfect. Now I can run around to the Sky Clan and look at all these question marks. Question marks. Where? I don't know. Are they underneath me, maybe? If we want to reclaim our honor, then we must. My brother will make it. Okay. What's going on here? The Wallbreaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten, to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka! Lataka! To your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the March? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. Mm, I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. She's got a really beautiful, like, facial structure. No slacking, it's soldier! Accentuated by her markings. I'm coming, I'm coming. Around. I really like Pento, her face paint. You better stay safe. Her facial markings are cool. Of course they have frost claws here too, by the way, in the cold. Blaze. These guys really, nobody wears, like, even the Banuk, they don't wear armor that, like, is practical for the cold weather. 
we could jump off a cliff, we must do my so feet wouldn't be on the ground. I missed part of this conversation. Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. <laughs> a Tanakh rode a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountaintop. The Stormbird still circles the peak. But we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountaintop. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, is there's this, no realistic is way this to game up telling me for now. that I can I fly? Can I, can you ride? Did I, did they have that in the promotional material? Did they have the, in the promotional material where you can ride a stormbird, and then I'm just slightly forgetting? Cause, uh, I am stoked. I don't sound like it, but I'm stoked if I can fly a storm- Well, I don't really want to fly a stormbird. I do want to fly a, um, one of the solar ones. I want to see if it's- nope, didn't update. Okay. Are you sure I can't tempt you? Yep, pretty sure. Where are all... It is indeed time to pick up. Let's see if I can bother the, bother him. Where is he? I want to see if I can bother him again. Yeah. <laughs> what about it? it, turns out it's caused by a lot of I think I'm supposed to be listening to that stuff. My is yours. He. The commander doesn't want. <laughs> oh dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I, I am, truly, honestly. Can you fell Regala as easily as the bulwark, Outlander? Oh, more die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look at you. I think I might go with this, honestly. I realize it's a bold look. Oh, but it's cool. It's so cool. Woo, very cool, very cool. What are you are you gonna get tattooed or what are painted on? I'm surprised they don't do tattoos. I don't think kind of do tattoos, but it seems like ink mostly. What's with the acrobatics? What's what's wrong with you people not having acrobatics, hmm? Oh, the cook. Okay, well. Outlander, I have just the things you need. Yeah, wow, really? That's crazy, because I haven't really you eaten much food. I should, but I'm not going to. I can carry it maxed out my smoke bombs. Nice, now I just need to get that and that. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so embarrassed how that mammoth fight went. 
It was very ugly. I had it going pretty well during the stealth segment, but then it just just got messed up because that guy saw me, which honestly was unfair. I killed everybody in the area. And then they were like, oh no, we can't have that. We have to send more people in. I'm like, cool. Thanks. So what is... Yeah, yeah. The cool route. Yeah, okay. We're not going to just run out there and be like, oh, I can get the thing now. We have to have the competition. But... I am going to do this one. Oh, on one until the wings of the ten have been completed. I don't think I have done. I don't think I have that. Hmm, interesting. A quest I don't have yet. Oh my gosh, it's eons away. Oh boy. We're gonna be right next to Demeter. <laughs> Heck, man. Oh, we've certainly come a long way. Well, off I go. Time to do a little run. These ones don't go nearly as fast as the bristlebacks do. Oh! Good, one of those evil cats. Cool, cool. Oh my gosh, the <coughs> Velociraptors! <laughs> They're up here. If I can get a Velociraptor, I will be stoked. I will never let it die. There's a frost claw. Oh no, those things are scary. An ice gorilla. These things freak me out. Look at the way they move. Can I not override it? I thought I said I could override it. I can't. Right. Because claws and shredding jaws were enough, apparently. Dang it. Oh, I thought I could. Dang it. Oh, I think that was one that I have to, like, fix the data for, actually. Where? Let's see. It is mountable, but I do not have it. It is... I did see it, though, right here. Right? The two... No, okay, different. Oh, that was the, that was the one. Oh, there it is. It's up here. Oh, maybe I should go do that. Anyway, I'm in a very dangerous position. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself into a very dangerous spot. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised I don't even get a um, stealth chance on it. Look at the way it moves. It's like looks exact. Like you know, like I would believe it 100% if you were like, you're like, oh yeah, it's definitely what they looked like, and I'd be like, I definitely believe you. Like when they move, like. Oh, it used to be triangle to mount them. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's turn off that. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. Dang it, I am gonna have to take the actual road for this, huh? Is that a cauldron? Oh! It looks like it's underwater. Kappa! Interesting. Level 40. Oh my gosh. I was going the wrong way again. I got caught up in just 
letting it go because it just rides itself, which is nice, like when you're on the road, except for, you know, when you hit fast turns <laughs> like that, or a tree that's in the vicinity of the road. <laughs> But it goes fast when it's on the road and like doing its own thing. And I'm just doing it myself. It doesn't go quite Sarah as fast. Said the old watchtower should be near the falls. Time to tell those soldiers to head home. I trusted my mount's pathing too much, especially because I heard that phrase on the way down. I was like, oh, this is the way I'm supposed to go. No. See, we have a hard time with sharp turns. There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader, Kiva. Kiva. Hello, one second. Thank you for the stuff. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Jera's cracked then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our insubordination. Things have uh, changed at the bulwark. Dakota won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right, then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. That's odd. As Echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? After everything else I've been through. <laughs> What's going on? We're moving out, back to the bulwark. You're shitting me. <laughs> what about Ezeko? The Outlander will check on him. This must be the start of the climb. The watchtower should be at the top. Perfect. They really are very military, the fact that they call each other squads and everything. I'll make an interesting color for my armor. It's in it's just interesting, like how much, like what, what they've decided to retain of the, of the past, like of what they could interpret of the past, you know? Everybody has something a little different. Oh, good storm stormbirds. Sky drifters. Sky drifters. Damn. Watchtower. That's right. The sky drifters are the ones that can't it's fly. Stormbirds can fly, and the solar pterodactyls can super fly. And I super want to ride one, just for a little bit. I don't have to ride it everywhere. Just let me ride it for a little bit. That scared me so much. It looks like I have to climb higher. Ah! Oh, jeez, I forget. Okay. Whoa. Mm. 
right in the eye. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. Oh my gosh. Soldier assigned to this watchtower. That went fairly well. Where are you at, guy? I hope you're not dead. That must be him. Where? Is he dead? Oh, jeez. What? That's not fair. Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Ava <laughs> sounded her horn. They're under it's attack? A call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. I think. The watchtower's under attack. Yeah. I need to get down there fast. Um, over there. Is this easy? Those are stormbirds, right? <sighs> Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna be kind of a sitting duck, really. Blood of the ten, the Outlander glides. Yeah, well. Glint talks. I can't keep track of all of them. Weak versus fire. Let's switch it up then. I hate fighting these stupid birds. <laughs> Critical hit skills been useful. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hate them. Hate all the ones that fly, except the solar ones. Super cool. Oh. The snow brought the chill. Thanks for the assist. Is the Zeko on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. Took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. They only had Takote. All we did was go to the embassy, follow Chief Akaro's orders. And what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. I am really surprised nobody's challenged him. Pavalo! We're moving out. Unless the... I feel like maybe the Sky be the Sky Clan is a little weaker in some ways. Killed. But at least the other two get to go home. Like uh, just because they. Uh... Ooh, nice! More more paints for me. Um, just because they don't they don't seem to go on the offensive very much. And like yeah, the cold conditions are harsh, but like it's not. Like the worst. I think the desert's a harder environment. Eh, I say that, but they're probably equally as hard in their own ways. 
Um, I think the taste of victory and a soldier's march are things we can still. Oh no, taste not the taste of victory. Soldier's march is another one. And then we go to the cool route. Is that really? I don't know what that is. It looks like an old building. I think that was it, really, for the Sky Clan. Okay. Only like two or three. Interesting. I wish I could get to the... It seems weird that they would lock this tall neck to me. Oh, I bet you if I do get the ability to fly on the solar wings, on the pterodactyls. Um, I don't even know if their names are solar wings. That's what I'm calling them. Are they solar wings? Sun wings. Basically the same thing. Sun wings. Um, that's probably, uh, whenever I complete whatever the wings of the ten are, which I assume is going to be associated with the Koru at some point, uh, then I can maybe fly. Oh my gosh, if I could fly in more than just, like, scripted zones, oh, that would be so <laughs> cool. Oh, it would be so cool. I may be a little broken, honestly, and you wouldn't get you wouldn't be able to get resources, so you couldn't do it all the time. But I would definitely do it for funsies. Okay, thank you all so much for joining me. Sorry, I was probably loud. Um, I appreciate it. It's getting late. Wow. Okay. Um, but yes, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Coito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super duper bestest. I really, truly appreciate your support. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.